Hello, hello, hello. Uh, today I will be showing you how to use vertex color as a basis for your procedural material or just as a control object or control thing in your material. Um, for that, I have generated this beautiful sci fi surface with random flow, and we will be also using random flow, the add on obviously as uh, the method to apply vertex colors. You can use whichever method you prefer, though I just like using um, random flow for it because it's very easy and very, very short. Impo um, an important uh, clarification is these objects are all different islands, meaning I can just do this and press island here or select it, it doesn't really matter, and it applies um, the, the, the material or the different, uh, like my range of color to every object individually. Um, we don't, we only gonna need gradient, we don't need this saturation, so I'm just gonna not be using colors because it's easier for what we are going to do. Um, so let's just leave it at that and let's go into our material editor. So far, obviously, it does nothing because the, the Vertex color doesn't get rendered. For this, we need a vertex color node, which we can grab and we can just plug into the base color. This, of course, looks pretty shitty. To change this, we can add a color in, 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 in between here, and now we can control basically the vertex colors we have applied before. Um, what we can also do now is we can change these colors. For example, we can put them to the color ramp, for example like a red, and then like a light blue, and then you can see we can just control the, control this. And this is all based off our vertex color here. So basically if we change uh, the pattern or the, um, yeah, the, the pattern of the vertex colors, these colors on here will change. I can show this. For example, if we do just change these colors, for example, take a different seed, you can see the colors change with it, which makes this really great for sci-fi um, um, surfaces where where you need like small color differences. For example, if I want like a a gray um, hull of a ship, I can just do something like this. And I get like these small color color differences. But what you can also do is you can use this vertex node as a multi as a as a multiplier. For this, we will duplicate this color ramp, put this here, delete this, and then um, let's select these two. Press Control Zero, bring up this mix node, and then put this mix in the base color. So far, it didn't do much. It's just multiplying this color into our color ramp. But we don't want that because we could just put in the colors ourselves and get the same achievement, uh, the the same results. So why doing? So why do this? What we can do with this is we can put a noise texture and we can put this noise texture here. And what this now does, it applies a gradient over it. Because you have this noise texture, uh, you have this color ramp, which now gets controlled by this noise texture, and you have this vertex color, which is multiplied over that. Basically, you get like this contrast in your material, which is which can be very very nice. But for that, you probably need like a bit more differences here. For example, if I do it, some, if I do it, if I do it like this, this is probably like a bit more obvious. Obviously, you. you you can use this as well to put into the specular or roughness or in general just randomize anything that your object needs randomizing for. Just remember that you need like islands to do it if you do it the way I did it. Um, what this is also very helpful is if you have a certain, for example, you want to give like a lot of objects the same material or they have the same material slots, but you randomize, want to randomize, for example, a specific color. For example, you want to have like cars, in a, I don't know, in like a car park or, or, or something and they all use the same color and you don't wanna 
change materials for every single car and have to go through them one by one. You can just use this method. Give all cars a random vertex color and then just add a color ramp in the in the material and then change this from linear to constant. And then you then you just add in the colors you want. And you can basically have how many color color variants you want and you can also control how many of them they are just by the differences between the be, between the um be, uh, just the size of the different colors just controls how many of them uh, of a specific, of a specific color there there would be in that color park this is a very very power, power, powerful tool if you know how to use it and vertex color as a randomizer or just as a control in your material can be very very good if you have a certain thing for example if you want to have a certain randomized aspect in your material or in a scene and you need it for that um this was very very short and unspecific to tutorial but i hope i could help you out a bit and i'll see you next time bye bye